I saw Gifted. Yeah, this is that Chris Evans movie, right? This is the Chris Evans movie oh, that yeah. came out. I was wanting to see that when it came into the theater, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I just didn't get a chance. And then last night I was like, I gotta go see something. And there's this, um, there's this documentary I want to see called "Serve Like a, a Girl," about uh, women combat vets and what they have to deal with. I just the movie times didn't line up, and it wasn't anywhere online. So. Uh, gift that I actually watched. Uh, it is available on iTunes, so I rented it. It's, it came out uh, in April of this year. It's uh, directed by Mark Webb and written by Tom Flynn, and it's it's a nice, heartfelt little movie. Mm -hmm. um, if you remember the, the so it basically, Chris Evans um, gets custody of it gets his custody daughter. of this girl because his his sister uh, passed away, and mm -hmm. he's been looking after his niece mm -hmm. for whatever six or seven years. Right, and she's this very. Uh, She's a gifted kid. She's a genius. Uh, that's established early on. And the movie opens basically with her, like she's seven, and, and it's like, you got to go to school now. And she's like, I don't want to. And he's like, I can't homeschool you. You're just too smart. And then that unravels this whole thing of the grandmother wanting to get that's involved. That's a conversation a lot of homeschool parents should have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like, and and there's some really there's some really good stuff. It's It's... It's Chris Evans. Um, so, and then Lindsay Duncan plays his mom. The the girls McKenna Grace plays the daughter, and Lindsay Duncan plays the British. She's she's British, and so she's very much like this girl needs to be in a top school, surrounded by tutors, mm. and so it's it's sort of that. I mean, it's that classic thing that we've seen in many movies before. I mean, Goodwill Hunting, like. You know the arguments that Robin Williams would have with uh, Skarsgård about well, if you push him too hard, he's going to snap, and well, he needs to be pushed, and and that whole debate. And you know, I have a couple friends that have some like seriously gifted kids, and it is an, it is a thing because the interact like you know, th there's a lot of stuff that goes with gifted kids of, and from what I understand, of just like. You know, if they're not pushed enough, then they they don't accelerate. But if they push too hard, like there's all these things that can right. happen to where mm -hmm. the kid, you know, is in a very fragile time. The other thing that happens is they get bored and then they hate school, too. Right. They're not being challenged enough. So if they're not being yeah. challenged enough, they're completely bored. If they're push, 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 they snap. You know, Right. Like, then, it's, then it's too much stress on them. Right. And then it's mm -hmm. too much stress. So it's like, what's the best for the kid? And there's just some wonderful scenes in there with Octavia Sp uh, Spencer and... and uh, um, Chris Evans. Chris Evans. You know, this is. I, I've always said this about Chris Evans. He's really proven that he's a good actor. Well, this is also kind of Mark Webb's wheelhouse, mm -hmm. not Spider Man. This is uh, his wheelhouse is more um, relationships and human interactions. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he did Five Hundred Days of Summer, which I love, which is a great Biden, movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and um, you know, the there's decent writing. There's a couple little like. This is me totally nitpicking. It's a fine film, and you'll you'll probably enjoy it. But there's, I mean, there's some some a couple little cliche moments that kind of unravel right. a little bit, but and a couple moments where you're like, did that? This feels like this was wedged in there just to 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 push this plot point. <laughs> um, uh, some it, this this is a focus group plot yeah, point, yeah, <laughs> or something like that, or somebody just said, well, you got to have this, and it's like, right. is that realistic? Who cares? It has to go in the movie, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's not so it. It's not so glaring. No, it's not glaring. It's not mm -hmm. egregious. It didn't. It, it just sort of took me out briefly. But then, and the, the you know the girl and and Chris Evans, McKenna Grace and Chris Evans have wonder. I mean, it's very. She's she's a fantastic young little actress, and and it's very believable mm -hmm. their relationship because he's not the dad. I mean, he is, but he's still the uncle. He's Uncle Frank. Right. So she's just like Frank. You know, she talks to him. You know, after, she it, doesn't say dad. No, she right. doesn't say dad. Yeah. And. Yeah, it resonated with me because I've always, as an uncle, like, God forbid something were to happen to my nieces or nephews' parents, I would be taking care of them, and how would that how would that shake out? You know, you would make them call you Frank. They they would call me Frank. <laughs> Feel like there's a screenplay we need to get to right. <laughs> <laughs> all my all my nieces and nephews would be trading in the samurai yes. arts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, yeah, it's a it's a really cool little film. And does she find his shield? Yeah, she finds a shield, and there's yeah, there's uh, obtainium or whatever the fuck. <laughs> obtainium. <you know. laughs> How dare you? Obtainium. What isn't it? Unobtainium. Unobtainium. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's oh, Avatar. God. Oh, obtainium. It's vibranium. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. From Wakanda. 
Yes. <laughs> so they do find vibranium from Wakanda, and that's how she gets her own. Uh, that's how she wins the court case. No, it's it's. And this is the thing. I I I've, I've seen Chris Evans do these smaller parts in these indie movies, and I've always. I always respect when big name actors do this stuff. And it's why I get frustrated when I see an A-list actor just do crappy mm-hmm. action movie after, like uh, Scarlett Johansson. I'm talking directly to you. You're a fine actress. Why <laughs> are here. you? Why she's are, right. she's yes. right. <laughs> this is weird. I don't know why we didn't. We, we haven't spoken to her the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> she asked not to speak. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But no, like she's a fine actress, and maybe she's yeah career in the shell. Yeah. God, man. <laughs> oh, what do you like? Why are you leaving to do these other things, Chris Evans? doesn't need to do gifted no no and he could do a bunch of dumb rom-coms or a bunch and just fight him up action movies but instead he goes no i want to do this heartfelt movie uh that that has all this great supporting actors in it a great s- script a nice director and and it's like wow yeah. and he can do this in between the marvel universe right and uh it's really cool. Well, I mean, I really root for a guy like I mean, it's he doesn't need me rooting for. But you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I enjoy seeing him in this type of thing. I enjoy um that's why I like uh uh what's the, the Magic Mike. Um who's the guy? Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Mm-hmm. Because he just I feel like that guy could have very easily been sort of the 80s or 90s ask action like those guys could have easily gone down that road of what you're saying just kind right. of act just blockbuster after blockbuster but i feel like they kind of say let's do something different let's do something different and channing tatum shows up in some shit that you're like where how does he i know not looking like himself kind of and it's always kind of fun to watch them do this and another guy who i kind of want to see in more stuff and i can't remember what he's done, but uh, Hemsworth, Thor. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who it's funny to watch him in these, in these uh, well, like Marvel those... movies, and they're f- he's very funny. Like his mm-hmm. timing is just he's not just this sort of meat-headed action. Well, that's here, a great point. Know. Like when he was in Ghostbusters, <clears throat> the dumb, good-looking guy in Ghostbusters, right. he was yeah. hilarious in yeah. that, yeah. and he wasn't playing badass. Yeah, he, it's nice to see these guys. They look like they're having fun doing the thing they're doing, whether it's good, whether it's not so good. But they're out there doing it, and and they're usually very good when they step away from the the hammer the and the shield and yeah. the vibranium. And cool, you know, there's also like Jenny Slate's in it. She she has a nice little part. You know, she was in Landline. We had the Sklar brothers on the show a couple of weeks back talking about her performance in that, which yep. is good. So and they she, they dated from this movie yeah, for a year, did. and then they broke up. Yeah. <laughs> With the Sklar brothers? Yeah, they dated and, and Jenny broke up. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest Wait relationship. Hold on a second, <laughs> guys. How is that not the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about movies the whole time? Uh, yeah, so Jenny, Jenny Slate um, is, I think she's going to be, you know, she's she's having a fine career, and I think we're going to maybe see more of her. We're going to see, see, you know, she did Zootopia, Secret Life of Pets, and, and I think she's going to start to kind of, come up as more of a she's like an indie darling right yeah, now. Yeah, she's starting to be kind of an indie darling and I think she's going to I think you know there could be we could see a little Brie Larson out of her, you mm-hmm. know, like she could get some big solid breakout role. Or some breakout role like uh on a big movie. The room and then or something like that. So mm-hmm. uh, it, it was cool to watch. So I, I shot first. Kidding.